Welcome all. In this lecture, I will be starting a series on only ASP.NET Core 3.1 framework and we will start with the learning about the project files. Now, in this playlist, which is exclusively for the latest framework as of today, um, I intend to take all the essential nitty gritties that are not normally covered in my YouTube channel or many of the YouTube channels. So let me start without mugging around and let's before I move on to the project file these are some of my Udemy courses basically and the referral links are appearing at the end in the YouTube video description and these are the four courses at the moment all of them are quite popular with more than a couple of hundred students already enrolled so if as my subscriber or viewer you are also invited most welcome to uh, join any or more of these courses to support me and you will definitely find it interesting and these are my details so let's switch over to the cs project file all right so the cs project file is the project file for the dotnet applications and it contains detail required details required for the dotnet tooling to build your project and it defines the project type being built whether it's a console application or a web app or a class library and also it defines the platform the project targets for example the dotnet core 3.1 or the dotnet standard library for class library projects or dotnet 5 which is uh, what it will converge to you know dotnet core and dotnet framework will ultimately be converged into one dotnet 5 soon and then finally the nuget packages on which it depends okay now some of the features over the earlier version for changes to the current project file in the asp.net code 3.1 version are that there are no globally unique identifiers or GUIDs. These are, if there are, they will be very rarely used. And then we'll have implicit file includes. Now the files are now automatically compiled without being listed in the project file. And earlier, all the files that a project needed were to be listed in the project file to be included in the build. Now, we don't need any NuGet package DLL paths as well. So you can reference the NuGet package directly in your CS project. And how we are going to do that? Now let's understand it in, let's take a deep dive into the project file. So switch over to Visual Studio. And here I have built already a ASP.NET Core web application by the ASP.NET Core web template. And if I double click on this, file this project file it opens it up for you now this sdk attribute this attribute includes the default settings that describe how to build your project whereas the target framework this um, name is obvious you know it is targeting the framework of the dotnet core framework so for dotnet asp.net core 3.1 it is net core app 3.1 and similarly for .NET 5, it will be .NET Core 5.0. Now, the most, you still don't have any NuGet packages over here, okay? Any element or attribute for that matter in this project file, which points to the NuGet package. So, the common changes you'll make to the project file are to add the additional NuGet package using the package reference element. Now, by default, your application doesn't reference any NuGet, NuGet package at all. So, even though all apps are unique in some way, they also share some common requirements. Okay, so most apps need to access a database or manipulate JSON or XML formatted data. So, rather than having to reinvent that code in every project, you should use reusable library that already exists. So, if you are not aware, NuGet package is the library package manager for NuGet, where libraries are packaged into NuGet packages and published to a website https colon front slash front slash nuget.org. You can use these packages in your project by referencing the unique package name, unique package name in your 
CS project file. Now that also uh, will be automatically included. So how the project file will be changed when you add the NuGet package comes next. So right click on that on the project node and click on manage NuGet packages. So you can see no installed packages. Now if I browse, I see newtonsoft.json on the top of the list. So if I click on install because it is not installed. So you can see the uninstall button that means newtonsoft.json is already installed. Okay. Now if I open this CS project file, so it has already included this in an item group element with a, another sub element package reference which has got an attribute include and it includes this package newtonsoft.json with this version name. Right. So this simplified absolutely simple project file firmware is much easier to edit by hand than the previous versions which is great if you are developing cross platform like if you are going to develop across Linux or Mac OS but if you are using just the Visual Studio in then you don't feel like you need to take this route. You can still use the GUI to add the project references, exclude files and manage NuGet packages and so on and I have shown you how to add the NuGet package and if you want you can exclude a file so right click you don't want to exclude program.cs though, but you can exclude from the project. Okay. And you can, once you are excluded, you, it will show you the including to the project. Okay. So in this lecture, we have seen um, how the CS project file has changed over time into the current ASP.NET Core 3.1 framework.